about the challenge, the eighth graders uh, realized that in Haiti, if you remember, there was an earthquake a few months ago, and we read an article that 3,000 people lost limbs in the Haiti earthquake. And so their challenge was to design a prosthetic leg that people could use in Haiti, and they needed to use everyday materials. We had to measure our client Augustine and like his like knee to the floor, and we um, like did all these tests before of how you did the heel strike, or like just all the different movements of the foot when you are walking. The materials that we used to make our leg is a half a sheet of cardboard, two bungee cords, you need two small pieces of plywood, and again, it depends on how tall the person is. They're taking ideas that they're learning in their math and science classes and applying it to a real life context. And it's a hands-on, they're working in teams, they're actually coming up with a product, and they're seeing how what they're learning in their core classes can translate into the real world. They have to present not only what they did, but the research behind how they came up with what they've built. So they're studying research, they're measuring, they're using their science concepts, they're using formulas, and then they're creating prototypes that they then have to proportionately make into full-scale models. So the student engagement is just huge. I just didn't like math or science at all at first, and then as soon as I come to this class, being hands-on with like techn technical stuff is just like exciting. So actually, I do kind of want to be an engineer when I grow up. So our educators have been working with Jill and Tamara at the University of Minnesota, and um, they have helped with their expertise in the uh, science and the engineering and the math. They've helped design the curriculum that is really deep um, and to create projects that are really deep. To see the, the four teachers in the room together um, is like watching four light bulbs go off. There's just such positive energy and there's such creativity. Engineering is really a way of thinking more than um, a content area. You, you use the content of math and science and even other, other subjects besides those two to learn to solve problems in ways that are useful for people for a client, etc. So teaching the students to think in this new way can really help engage them um, in really meaningful mathematics and science. Obviously the learning was deep, but the excitement level was deep too. And so if we're trying to get students to want to consider careers or even be prepared for careers in, in any kind of a STEM field, that engagement and that excitement must be there, but the deep content learning must be there too, and we are seeing both of those things in this class. When you look at the new science standards um, that have just come out, um, engineering is included in the science standards with the purpose of it being integrated. Um, it's not a separate set of standards, it's not expected to be a separate class. So the purpose Minnesota-wide is integration, and we're starting to see that nationally as well. So the exciting thing is Minnesota's on the forefront. Jill and Tamara, through their program, have helped us take our crazy ideas and learn how to apply it, and the kids just think it's fascinating. 80% of our students here live in poverty. And so that isn't something, a picture for a lot of our students to think about college is my future. But when they start seeing that they can build stuff, and we're using rudimentary tools, we're using glue and, and uh, cardboard and PVC pipe, and we're creating some really exciting things. And so it's a great way to launch our students' imagination. I would most likely take this class over again in high school. Yep. I love this class. <laughs> Let's hear it one more time for the engineering students.